What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and we're back with some Hero Coliseum, some PvP, and I was about to say some Hero Coliseum again, but there's two fights into this. There's Hero Coliseum, there's a free battle fight at the end. If you want to go check that out, I'm skip ahead, but I will be discussing stuff in this video because this is not a live commentary. This is me commentating over some clips that I just recorded for you, a little mashup montage of stuff. And there's some PvP mashed in the middle of the two here. Coliseum fights a little sandwich of gameplay, guys. But one thing I wanted to did, I wanted to touch on, as you can see, I'm playing with a new deck. I'm playing with Rose, Tapion, uh, Jiren, Ultra Instinct, Goku, and Gogeta. And this man is running. This man's a level 99. He's running Kibu, Super Vegito, Future Gohan, I believe. Yeah, Future Gohan, Bay 18, Fusamasu. Very good team. As you can see, he's going first no matter what. My goal is to go second with this team, guys. This is a new team I made. I have Tapion on the team, but I don't know if I use him in this fight. I forget. But I don't want to spoil anything either. As I was about to say, one of the discussions in this video besides this high-tier gameplay, hopefully you call it high-tier, but I'm just kidding. I don't want to... I, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm excited to talk about this topic, guys. But, ooh, 444. Zero. Um... I'm being really weird today, guys. I have a little bit of a headache. But I hope we get a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in DLC 8. Yes, I hopped right into it. We're talking about DLC 8 today, guys, because new Broly, the new Dragon Ball Super Broly is coming out, and another new um, character you can buy to play with PvP. I'm assuming it's a new Gogeta. Hoping it's a new Gogeta, guys. Hoping it's a new Gogeta, guys. But what, one thing we need is we need a new we need a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta figure. We have every other figure in the game. We have every other character that has ever come out for PvP, basically. Right? Yeah. Pretty sure we have a figure for every person except Fu. We don't have Fu. I'm pretty sure that's it. Everything else, why? Actually, first, actually, we do have everybody. Yeah, we have everybody. Why don't... We have a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta figure. I don't know if they're trying to wait on it or they just don't want us to have one, but I'm suspecting this man is going to be one of the most broken figures in the game. Point blank. Okay, you got Super Vegito attacking me down the middle. Sorry if I cut in and out. This is just me trying to... Ooh, too much damage, Mugs. Too much damage. Look at the damage Super Gogeta... Super Vegito does. He does an insane amount of damage, guys, but as I was saying... Gogeta Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I'm speculating, gonna be the most broken figure in the game, he better, he better be more broken than Videl, he better be more broken than, um, um, Super Gogeta, more than Super Vegito, more than Perfect Cell, more than Rose, more than Ultra Instinct Goku, more than Jiren, more than New Blue Vegeta, and new more than Blue Goku, and all that other good stuff, he needs to be, watch this guys, just one second. GG, my god, dude, when this happened, I was generally shocked, I was like, oh, I might win here just because Gogeta and Jiren are hitting him directly, I was like, he has 25,000 HP, I wonder what happens, clearly, Jiren absolutely bodies people, just because I got to go second, got the plus 20% from the ADM up SEC, I got the SEC, um, I don't know if I have the attack, I do, I had the attack up SEC, and I had the ADM up SEC, um, ADM up B, actually, my bad, I repeated myself twice. Now, obviously, hopping into PvP, guys, but as I was saying, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, needs to be broken. I want him to have, like, an insane, like, 40% damage buff, or something, like, because he had no flaws as a character in the actual Dragon Ball GT. No flaws. The only flaw was the time limit didn't, the time limit was just too short. He literally kicked Omega Shenron's ultimate attack away. He glared him away and just bodied him like Jiren does. He literally was playing with the strongest villain in Dragon Ball GT and was making light work of him. Not to mention the man charged up a Big Bang um, Kamameha and goes, Oh, that didn't kill you? Let me just charge up another one. Strong attack. And he just goes, I can do two. Watch this. Boom. Like, Vegito didn't do two final Kamamehas against Fusamasu. As you can see, this man's using Ultra and Goku. I didn't think he was going to pick a CAC otherwise. I didn't think he was going to pick a cast character. Otherwise, I would have picked a um, cast character as well. Probably would have picked C. Okay, I forgot that you dodge. Haha. <laughs> Look at this. Just block strings, brother, and then you just get bodied mugs. It's perfect. Block, don't do it. Do I do I perfect do I break your stamina here? I do, GG. I forgot the perfect I have perfect comment. Probably one of my favorite ultimate attacks in this game, guys. Comment down below your favorite ultimate attack. One thing I want to say is hit will be the next double trouble as well because he did win the poll by a landslide, I believe. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure he won by an absolute landslide. Future Trunks actually lost. And he was in the lead. 
for most of the entire, like most of the entire, um, um, poll. Comment down below if I'm, you're probably going to see this. Actually, yeah, comment, um, down below if you didn't vote. Go to the poll and vote if you didn't vote because maybe Hit's not the one because this is going to be a video in between the double trouble. So, Hit didn't win just yet, guys, but as I was saying, DLC 8, sorry if I'm over the place, but DLC 8, guys, I suspect will be one of the best DLCs if we get new figures. This is all if and speculation. But I expect us to get like a new Beerus because we didn't get a new Beerus in a while and he's amazing. I expect there to be new figures that are related to the Broly movie. So I'm hoping we get a new Broly figure just just because. I hope we get a new Kefla figure even though she's not related. New Baby Vegeta figure just because I like Baby Vegeta even though I didn't buy the DLC. I didn't buy DLC 8. But... He's still one of my favorite villains in, of all time. It's Kid Buu and stuff like that. Yeah, God Fist is a thing. But my Golden Freeze is actually kind of nice. I remember, yeah. I remember actually doing a video on, like, me trying to main Golden Frieza. And it actually goes pretty well. I don't know how I kept going when I ran out of key. But, yeah, this, I just... I've been working on my PvP a little bit, guys. But, as I was saying, DLC 8. Sorry if I'm all over the place, guys. You can jump around to watch the different videos. There's Hero Coliseum, PvP, PvP, Hero Coliseum, Free Battle. This is the Android 17 build, by the way. But, and, um, I expect to have a Kefla figure, Baby Vegeta figure. Now, Kefla, shout out to Unleashed, because Kefla actually is a figure that you made on PC. And she's pretty cool. I like the posing skill you gave her. I wouldn't mind if they actually gave her that as a posing skill in this game. She'd be pretty broken. That is why I want Super, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to be even more broken, because... Why? Like, I'm just still blowing my mind. We got every person, every almost every cast character you can think of in this game as a figure. Just no. Just no Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, guys. Now, I expect him to have some sort of an insane attack buff. Maybe some insane speed buff and maybe some ultimate attack. I'm assuming it's going to be ultimate attack or something like that. I hope he gets, like, plus 30% to ultimate attack damage at the end of turn, repeatable. That would be just absolutely broken because if you put a one skills with him, boy, he would smash people, guys. But I expect Kefla to be pretty good if we do get a Kefla figure. These are all speculations, by the way. Comment down below what figures you guys would like to see. And dupe figures because we do have two Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas, two Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, and that's it. I believe we'd have no more dupe figures, right? We have two Goku. We don't have two Goku Blacks. What am I thinking about then? We have Rose and Goku Black, I guess there are two. But we have no other dupe figures in this entire game. So we need, I'm hoping we get, besides the blue Goku and blue Vegetas, hoping we get a new um, Beerus. Hope we get a new, um, I don't want a new Champa. I actually like to, oh, I like the new, I like this Champa that we have right now. They don't need to make him any better. They don't need to do anything with a new one. Keep the Champa we have. I want a new Broly, actually. Keep the Super Vegito. Maybe give us a new Super Gogeta because hopefully he is one of the new cast characters in the game that is coming to Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Now, as you can see, Cell took a little bit of damage, but... Sorry, I'm jumping around, but as you saw, Cell took a little bit of damage, so he did get his Master HP lower than 50%. I mean, not my Master HP, his HP below 50%, which means he got a 1.5 times own attack buff. Now, I needed to keep Android 17 on the field because of oh, one because of um, ET skills. Here I actually messed up. I shouldn't have put Ultra Instinct Goku on the field because I was going to win in speed no matter what. And I he wasn't going to get an ult, so there would have been no reason for me to put him on the field and get that eight, minus 80% to ultimate attack damage because he wasn't going to get an ult because I was going to kill him with the Android 17 and the Cell guys. But I could have put the Vegito blue top uh, bottom right, and he actually would have... Maybe gotten his HP lower than 50%, and then he'd start ignoring defense, and then that is when the real damage begins, because once Vegito Blue ignores defense, it's basically like a Beerus, except he attacks everybody in front of him, so he's a kid who makes with a Beerus, which is absolutely gross, guys. Spirit Bomb's looking a little nice, 70%. We're, we're beating him in speed because he took out the um, Hercule. Hercule is so fast. I believe this, uh, I believe Jin, um, who is am I fighting? Gogeta, right? I thought I was fighting Janemba at first. Similar teams. Um, except Janemba has great Saiyaman, I believe, and not Hercule. Who else? Who else does Janemba have? Oh, he has Frieza. He has Frieza and great Saiyaman instead of Hercule and Super Boo. But, as I was saying, what was I saying? What was I saying, guys? Oh, as I was saying, Vegito Blue ignores defense. He's basically a monster with Kid Boo mixed with him. 
Now, I could have put Kid uh, Vegito Blue bottom right, got his HP below 50%, or I could have put Godku bottom left and gave everybody 160 attack. He would have gained 700 attack, and he would have gained 5% to damage buff uh, to his own damage dealt, but he might have gotten taken out by the Gogeta. Now, Cells, look at that damage, bro. Cells hit not that hard <laughs> because he kills him, but it's because Janemba has like 3,000 defense. Now, Android 17 is going to hit fairly hard. He should hit for like, what, 6.5k, right? Let me see. Let me see the amount of damage he hits for. Sorry I'm jumping in and out, guys, but 6.4. I was right. Basically 6.5 if you round up the 4 with the 6, you know, math and stuff, guys. But as I was saying, DLC 8. I hope we get new free battles because I'm actually right now... Okay, what's my what's my um, thing doing? You guys can't see this. Obviously, you guys are watching the gameplay, but I have my PlayStation just on. Now, we have a lot of free battles. We have a lot of seven stars. We have a lot of six stars and stuff like that, but I want these new free battles. Give us a new Broly. If they give us a new Dragon Ball Super Broly free battle, that'd be dope. Give us a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta free battle and make it the hardest free battle ever but give us 5,000 figure xp when you beat it like i'm saying i want them to be tanky i want them to hit harder than the blue goku uh, free battle i want them to tank better than the blue goku battle i want them to do everything better than the blue goku battle because in my opinion that is my hardest um free battle that's just my opinion comment down below what you think is the hardest free battle guys but I just want Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to be in the game as a figure because he's my favorite fusion. He's basically probably one of my favorite characters ever to get introduced to Dragon Ball in general. Just because he's an absolute G. Like, the fact that he comes in to Dragon Ball GT and just looks at Omega and he just blinks and then bang. Basically smacked him with the back of his hand without having to touch him. And then he just played with him the entire time with the Bluff Kamameha, which is probably one of my favorite things. I actually would love if in, if they made Super Go Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta a figure. He does a combo and then hits him with the Bluff Kamameha. That would be pretty hilarious. And obviously his ultimate attack better be times 100 Big Bang Kamameha. Do not give him Super Kamameha because that would actually trigger me a tad bit. Look at your boy Muggs getting the Spirit Bomb. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure Cell dies here, right? Because I don't think I get a double and that would have decided if I killed the Gogeta. Yeah. This is where I was talking about. He could have beaten me if he got a 300, but he didn't get a 300. He took the 260. I don't think he was getting a 300 to begin with, but your boy, I kill Janemba with the God Q, and then I kill Hercule with the um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I'm surprised that Hercule even survived in the beginning of the fight. He survived with how much HP? I have to get kind of close for this. 207 HP or 287 HP, guys. That is, in, <laughs> that is just stupid. I don't even know how Hercule survived this, guys, but... Other figures I was thinking we could get for DLC 8 are a new ultimate. Actually, get a UR Ultimate Gohan. I know he just came out for DLC 7, but give us a UR Ultimate Gohan. Or give us just an upgrade. Give us an Ultimate Gohan that just limit breaks. And give the SR1 to a UR. And just make it 500 attack for him. And 500 attack, 500 attack, 300 defense for him and the person in front of him. All you're doing is literally giving him a plus 200 attack for him and the person in front of him and make it like minus 350 speed you don't gotta make it that much just give us a ur1 with boosted stats because the fact that this man has 7,000 attack as an sr still blows my mind give us a ur majin vegeta that actually would be pretty sick i wouldn't mind a dupe of majin vegeta as a ur give us what other og figures are there Give us a UR Super Saiyan 3 Goku that's doing Dragon Fist that he did against Harutagarn. I don't know why they made him limit breaking to Godku because that just doesn't make any sense to me, guys. But we're ending. We're near the end of the free battle, guys. But overall, I love the figures we have now. It's just I would like new ones. Like, we don't have a UR Janemba or a UR Cooler as I'm, I literally am going through free battle right now. We don't have a UR Janemba. UR Cooler. We don't have a UR Turles. We don't. We have you. Never mind. We don't have a UR. We don't have that many UR trunks. We only have one UR trunks, which still annoys me. Like, we could have done a GT trunks. We could have done a Xenoverse trunks, which I don't think we have any. I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound a little stupid, guys. But we don't have any Xenoverse characters in this game. Like, we don't have a, Tor, a Toa, which I would like, a Mira, or a Dragon Ball, um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse trunks. That would be uh, Xeno Trunks. That would be pretty sick. I wouldn't mind that. Let's see how much Gaku hits for, right? I think it's funny how... Shout out to you. I forget what your name was. 
I can't see it literally is so small on my computer screen. I'm not trying to strain my eyes, guys. But that is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I hope to catch y'all in the next video. So sorry about that, guys. My intro played because uh, the way I was recording this, I was going literally through my editing software and just watching it and commentating over it, guys. But And it just restarted. But I hope to catch y'all in the next video. As I say all the time in every video, 1.5K subs by the end of the month. I'm actually 300 away, which is we're closing in, but we only got how many days left? We only got, I believe there's... 30 days in November, right? So 10 more days until we hit the end of November. If I can get 300 subscribers in 10 days, that would be awesome, guys. But 1.5K subs by the end of the month, and there's going to be a giveaway. If I can hit it by Christmas, there's going to be an even bigger... If I can hit 2K subs by Christmas, which is obviously a big jump, guys, but it's going to be a huge giveaway. going to be a lot of stuff going on. But that is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I hope to catch you all in the next video. The deduces, everybody. Let me know your thoughts on DLC 8 and the potential of us getting new figures.